Right, okay, so, yeah, about 15 months ago we had about 10 eggs and uh, they hatched and about three of them made made it to full adulthood and from there, uh, hundreds of eggs, I can't even say how much. So what I've done, uh, there's a kind of little temporary box I've got here, uh, which is quite good. Right now there's eight in there, so what I've... We get inundated with eggs and poo. So what I've made, I've made this little thing. It's like a false floor, made with, made with this material. <sighs> made a false floor with this kind of material, which I bought in a, uh, a kind of knitting shop. Very good. So the eggs and dirt and muck poo fall down, and it's easy to clean. So you can see that it's mostly muck, but we have got a couple of eggs. So well, there's one egg. Very small and delicate. But hard, listen to this. Right, so it can uh, what's that noise behind me? Oh, you're just messing about Michelle, aren't you? Uh, okay. So in here what I'm going I'm waiting on a I'm waiting on a box. No, not a box. I'm waiting on a uh, an angle grinder. So I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna make a gap here and make a false floor. Uh, and this one here, we've got a lot more insects in here. I'm just about to clean this one out, the top one. We can rotate it every two or three days and clean, all the, clean one out. It'll be a lot easier once we get a false floor built in this one, yeah? We feed them ivy, which is like the best thing to feed them, or one of the best. We're lucky because we have, excuse me girls, again, there we go, hello. Hello. Because, hello, say hello, hello. Because if you look at the window, we have a big ivy wall there, and down the bottom of the garden we've got ivy, so we can, we can do fresh you? stuff every way. We can do fresh stuff all the time, you know. Is this for you? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. That's what we, yeah. Maybe. Uh, so that's what we do. Uh, we're just putting in the angle grinder. Uh, they're quite easy to look after. They hang up. They hang upside down. You can see. What are uh, they? Fight. Yeah, they're hanging up because they're. In the evening, they, they, they're nocturnal, just now they're just chilling out, you know. Uh, but they need, uh, th this is tent material, that's actually very good. If you can put that on the top, because they can grip onto it. And you need something to grip onto uh, when they're shedding their skin. Because they shed their skin uh, three times in their lifetime. Shed their skin is the right word, Michelle. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, so that's what I would advise you to do. Sometimes this, they can escape. Sometimes they can escape if you don't. Yeah, and that's a good thing because we bought these. So we've got these boxes in uh, home, stores. home store or somewhere. One you know? time there's one at the door. Yeah, there was one at the door, wasn't there? Yes. Yeah. And then the false floor is good. Then we can put the top back on. Maybe puncture some. If you're going to use these plastic tops, puncture some holes. Uh, well, here we are. There's lot, don't use this top, but you can put, drill some little holes in there for air. But there's enough air coming in here. And then if you've got this on top, it provides enough air, you know. Uh, and I suppose you could put, you could grow something underneath the, f the floor and have s some water and stuff underneath the floor, you know. But we just provide fresh stuff every day or every second day, which is more than enough. Uh, but we've got lots here, you know, so we're going to clean this one out shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so thank you. Any comments are welcome. Bye.